Hey, yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome to Friday's Soul at Home Workouts. We have two very special guests that tested this workout for us today. Two lovely ladies by the names of Samantha Briggs and Emma McQuaid. All right, let's get into the details of this workout. We have two different pieces today. The first one is a couplet of wall balls and sit-ups. After that, you're gonna rest three minutes and then you're gonna do a five minute AMRAP of dumbbell push press and dumbbell farmer's carry. All right, let's uh, talk about more of the finer details of this workout. So people will probably feel fatigued from yesterday. We've had a really hard week and we are gonna continue with that theme and finish nice and strong. We gave you guys one recovery day. On Wednesday, you should hopefully feel better than if we gave you a high intensity piece on Wednesday. However, if you feel a little tired, if you feel lethargic, if you feel a little achy, I get it, that's normal. This was probably the hardest week of Soul at Home that we've had thus far. Not necessarily doing the longest workouts because what we normally do on Saturday is pretty fucking long. However, the intensity this week was very high and we don't normally follow up a high intensity day with another one, but we're doing that this week. So you're welcome. Um, in that first piece, once again, we know you're gonna feel tired. We know you're gonna feel fatigued from this week, but it is time to push and push again hard. Now, the noise in this workout is pretty low. Wall balls, I know for some people are challenging, but it is a relatively um, low skill exercise. Sit-ups can almost not get any lower skill. So that's why we're trying to combine good exercise selection of choosing exercises that have little noise and kind of combining them with something that we want you guys to push really hard on, right? So once again, we do that first piece, then we rest three minutes. So what does that mean? That means I want you guys to earn your rest. Don't start thinking about, okay, I see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. I can start pumping the brakes. I'm gonna have another AMRAP, AMRAP after this. That is not the mentality behind this one. Um, this is not an open scored workout where that component is overly important. Uh, I want you guys to push, forget about, you know, I need to save some for the second one because, oh man, those dumbbell push presses are going to be so hard after those wall balls. That is not the mentality at all whatsoever. All right. Um, push and push hard. During that three minute rest, I would recommend as always maintaining an active and athletic resting position. I don't want to see videos of you guys bent over. Uh, you know, I don't want to see people in a squat position, chalking up, uh, rest in an athletic position. What does that mean? That means open up your torso, open up your chest, allow for oxygen to flow in and flow out. You do not want to be in a defeated position. Why? Because the fucking workout is not over yet. Okay. Once the workout is over, you can be dramatic and give yourself the, uh, allow yourself to throw yourself on the floor, lay on the floor, whatever it is you do, or you've got to do. However, we're not there yet. All right. So after that three minute rest, once again, we have a five minute AMRAP of 20 dumbbell push presses with a 50 foot dumbbell farmer's carry. Sam's note on this one uh, was to be smart about where you choose to break up those dumbbell push presses. Now, if you pay very close attention to this workout, you will see that by design, you're not supposed to let go of the dumbbells in the second piece. Now, you're gonna have to at some point, you're gonna have to break. So Sam's suggestion is be smart from the beginning and plan your breaks. Like what we always talk about with you guys, we don't wanna get to the point where the workout is forcing you to take breaks. If you're to the point that your workout is making you take breaks and it's removed your choice from the factor, then you are more than likely not gonna be able to keep a sustained level of intensity for the workout, right? So we always want to reverse engineer it and decide first, at least this is where I think I'm going to take a break and try some kind of format that's going to allow you to be intense going forward, right? So if I was doing this workout and what Sam said that she tried was she took a break between 12 and eight every time. Um, once again, even though you're, you're holding the dumbbells in this position, in the, in, in the second piece, it's 
You're designed to not have to put them down. So if you're gonna rest somewhere, I would definitely recommend resting on those push presses, just like Sam recommended. Sam's first score was 434-ish. Emma's first score was 427. In the second piece, Sam got 16 push presses into the fifth round. And Emma got five, sorry, three push presses into the fifth round. It was written backwards. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, again, very little noise on this one. It gives you the guys the ability to push, and I definitely want you to do so. Let's talk about a few other things. Um, for those of you folks who don't have a 9 or 10 foot um, measured height for your wall balls, that's okay. Just pick a height, something that you can do consistently. That's all we're looking for. The suggestion is... Uh, nine and 10 feet. However, that is not important. Something that you can do consistently is all we're looking for. As a guide, the medicine ball weights are 20 and 14. As a guide, the push press weights are 50 and 35. Like I said before, consider using the same implement for the farmer's carry as you do the dumbbell. Even if you only have one that is acceptable, that's totally okay. All right, and I'll leave you guys with this. Please make sure to post both of your scores. This is a double scored event because um, we want to see the correlation between the two. All right. Good luck to you guys. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for participating. Please keep posting your scores. Peace.